Hi, this is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a pro tip that I can share so that you can find a job faster. Now, many of my students, many of my subscribers, followers on LinkedIn are kind of freshers or people who are looking out for a job into data science and analytics. Many of them definitely find jobs, but it might take a lot of time for you to get a job. Many companies ask for experience, companies ask for internships and a lot more. Especially this job search is a headache for freshers. But I usually have a pro tip for my students. Those who are very close to me, those who are a part of my boot camps, my students, I usually give them a pro tip or multiple pro tips which definitely help them to get jobs faster. If you don't believe me, where I'm teaching right now in Hong Kong, most of my students get jobs even before the boot camp finishes. But what do I say them? Well, we'll be talking about this. Please stay till, uh, stay till the end so that you can get the tips as well and see you after the video. Hi, so I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you some sort of mantra or I'm not going to give you a magical words or something like that, which by using that you can get jobs very faster. Now, what I'm going to do is I will give you some tips that will be definitely beneficial for you. Now, what are these tips? Generally, what happens is I'm just talking about the freshers. Now, when it comes to freshers, companies, they are very you know conscious while hiring a fresher a fresher should have a dedicated number of uh, you know dedicated skills he should also have some internship experience and many companies are skeptical about hiring a fresher and that is the reason why they mostly end up hiring somebody with prior experience but if every company starts hiring people with prior experience where will the freshers go now we are going to use some tips if you use them, I can be, I can guarantee you tell that you will land up a job faster, not immediately like overnight, but faster. Now the trick here is preparing multiple resumes and using the right keywords to search on different uh, platforms like LinkedIn, Nokri, Instahare and all those things. Now in this video, I'm dedicatedly talking about people from India. If you're not from India, probably these tips might not work 100%, but it will be beneficial. Now, get started with multiple resumes. What do you mean by that? I will give you examples. For an example, you are aiming for data analytics. Now, data analytics itself will have two types of, two kinds of roles in the market. One company, let's say company A and company B. Now, company A might be focusing more on the analytical skills, SQL or some sort of data analytics tool or maybe ETL pipelines and all those things and less focus on the BI part. Now, the second type of company, which is company B, might be focusing more towards Power BI, visualization, report creation, dashboard creation and less on the ETL pipelining part or probably, you know, analysis part. Now, how do you cope up with this thing? If you have one resume, you see both the openings and you apply. Now, whichever matches, whichever company's JD, job description matches your resume, they are going to select you. But how can you make sure you are being selected in both of them? If you create multiple resumes, one should be focused on the data analytic part and less priority to your BI part. One will be focused mainly on the BI part. You can write down multiple POCs on different dashboards, reports. I have done this KPI, that KPI and all those things and less focus on the ATL pipelining part. And how can you do that? Well, try to create a gen, try to create generally two resumes, like, like just two versions of resumes in that keep some of your skills on top, other skills as bottom. And in the second part, the second, the bottom skills, which are part of your resume one should be at top and other should be at the bottom, right? Similarly, if you are like having multiple skills like data analytics and data science, 
in that also if you create multiple resumes let's say one resume focused mainly on the machine learning part one resume focused on the data analytics part one resume focused on the deep learning part now if you are going through multiple companies job description try to look at the job description pick some words and guess which area are they mostly looking out for like we say normally hr take around 6 seconds to go through a profile similarly a candidate can also go through a job description just in 6 seconds if you open a job description on linkedin probably you can identify what they need in just 6 seconds there is a trick for that so once you go through skills we need have a look at it cafe tiano whatever they need python power bi try to pick those keywords and write down in your resume i am sure it's going to be tough difficult but trust me it's going to be fruitful because you are in that phase of your life right now where you need job desperately so do not compromise on this thing create multiple resumes check out job description if you are able to create new resume for a new company that's going to be wonderful as well apart from that another tip i would like to give especially for linkedin is many people go for the easy apply option on jobs do not do that how can we get rid of that let's have a look at it let's say i'm looking at this profile we'll go to the job section well this is my wife's profile let's not get into that let's say i'm searching for data analyst and here uh, let's say i'll keep it as india and start searching now you can see there are some jobs that are being available as an easy apply and if you scroll down probably there will be some which is direct apply always do direct apply now what about the easy apply jobs they do exist but there is a different trick to uh, submit that what what do you what do you mean by normal apply when you do normal apply that means you are being redirected to the company's career website and there you can apply well it is little bit tricky because here while applying you have to pass your own information upload your resume and lot of things it could be hectic but it is fruitful now coming back to the easy apply ones i hope everybody knows about easy apply it is super simple to apply if you just go click 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 next 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 up, you know pass on some information once you click on review you will be able to apply that job but a better way to apply will be going to that opening which company has the opening visiting their website and then visiting their careers website careers uh, wherever they have careers let's say they do not have careers which is fine should be a startup but let's say most of the companies do have their own career page if they do have go ahead and apply in their own careers page if you don't find it then come back and apply here start doing it let me know what you feel in the comment section below uh if you know your chances of getting a you know offer or something like that has increased or probably you started getting calls let me know in the chat box sorry let me know in the comment section that's all about this particular video see you in the next video bye bye thank you